why Battleborn needs to go free to play. So don't get me wrong, I think Battleborn is a good game. The graphics, the characters and their awesome abilities. There's just a lot to love here. But the game is not doing very well sales wise. And this model or even a free unlimited trial would make total sense for this game. Let's look at the sales and some other indicators. So obviously we know no hard numbers from uh, the game yet. Since Gearbox and 2K did not share anything. But we can look at the UK charge for example. So it became number one in the week of release and if you remember that week there was no other game coming out so that's not really an achievement. And a week later the game dropped to number 12 so that's pretty significant from number one to number 12 in one week. Ratchet and Clank on the other hand a PlayStation 4 exclusive so only available on PlayStation 4 Battleborn of course also available on PC and Xbox One stayed in the top four since launch so right now it's number four in the uk while battleborn after two weeks moved to number 12. so we're now over on psn profiles this is a website that collects data from its users so not every playstation owner is on this website but still a ton of people are and it gives a good indication on how good this game has sold if we compare it with other titles so let's look here battleborn 2700 71 game owners if we look at doom a game that launched two weeks later it has already as at the moment of this recording so on wednesday 4070 game owners so that's almost two times okay a, li a little less but it's significantly more than battleborn then we look at borderlands another game from 2k of course from gearbox the creators of battleborn and that game sold pretty well. 340,000 game owners on this website. But remember, the game has been in sale for for a few times. It's been out for a long, a long time. So, of course, we cannot really compare it. But it's interesting, though, because uh, Gearbox says that Battleborn sells more than Borderlands at launch. So, if you remember, Borderlands was not really a big deal at launch. But later on, everyone was like, okay, I need to get this game. And then they bought the game. So um, it's not really saying a lot if they say, okay, Battleborn is selling more than Borderlands. Because Borderlands did not sell a lot. But the numbers are indicating that Borderlands is way more popular than Battleborn. And then we look at another game. And this is what I think a pretty good comparison in how popular things are. So Evolve probably sold pretty well, but the tail was not there. But still, 50,000 game owners on PSN profiles. Well, Battleborn, it's not even a fraction of that. It's like nothing compared to the numbers of Evil. So that's pretty significant. So why is a free-to-play model or like an unlimited trial, like I already said, the solution for this game? Well, it gives the people a reason to check it out because the game is pretty good. Like I said, it gets pretty good scores. Um, and yeah, it's fun to play. People need to... Yeah, need to play it in order to understand it. Obviously, there was an open beta, but maybe if because the um, yeah the marketing is really still going on right now, they they even have a TV commercial and a commercial in the cinema. So before you watch a movie, you see a Battleborn commercial. So that's pretty wild if you think about that. How many games do that? And it, even Battleborn does it. So 2K is really yeah betting on this game. They want people to play it. And I think an unlimited trial or a free to play model would make total sense. Just release this so people now have the game, people love it and they want to play with their friends and their friends that were not interested in the open beta so they skip that. They, they want to yeah to try it but to pay $60 that, that just what doesn't work. Also it's just a very competitive game market out there. There are a ton of multiplayer games. J Doom just released. That's another multiplayer title that will not be super popular in the long run. Not be super popular like Destiny, like The Division, like Call of Duty. Of course, the big winner in the multiplayer uh, online front on consoles. So, why why fight with those games? I mean, there are also mobile-like games coming out like Battleborn, Paragon, for example, the high-polished game from uh, Epic. You might, th th those guys will also get a lot of players and it's free. It's free, th everyone can try it. So the competition is fierce and also on a free to play front. So Battleborn needs to compete with that. Otherwise it will just go down, down, down. 
Nobody will care. Nobody will spend $60 if they can try Paragon, which is probably, it, it, I know it's kind of different since Battleborn is more like a shooter, but it, it's totally different than B Borderlands back in the day. Borderlands launched and everyone, uh, th there was not like that much competition on the online co-op loot shooter front, but Battleborn has mo is a MOBA. Also Smite just launched on PS4. It has a lot of content oh, no. because it launched on PC a few years ago. So that that's now on, on PS4 and it's free. And it, it, you know that it will get supported for a long time because the game has been going for a long time and it just released on PS4. So you also have other online games that are coming out. Um, you have Battlefield this year, you have the new Call of Duty, you have Titanfall. It, it, it's just a sick competition. Overwatch, even Overwatch is coming out this month. You want to compete with that, but you will not since Blizzard will have a even bigger marketing campaign and Overwatch is just an easier game to understand, um, to pick up and play. How will this free to play model work for Battleborn? Well, it, it will be hard since you do see that the game has not been decided for a free to play model in mind. So they thought, okay, we are we're going for that, that full priced game and you see that. But still, um, you can sell the episodes. So give away two free episodes, two free story episodes. If they want more, well, make them pay $5 for each. $5 for a story mode. This mission is pretty good, M maybe less. Or let them unlock them by playing the game a lot. Um, the heroes. You can, of course, sell those heroes. I mean, the players that already own the game just have everything already unlocked. But the players that are going in for free, that are trying the game out with their friends, will have like... A ch ch yeah, they have the choice to either unlock them by playing a lot of the game or maybe just don't. Maybe just have like the free uh, heroes that you have when completing the tutorial and that's it. If you want more, pay, f pay for them. Release new he uh, heroes that will, will cost money. They will obviously already do that um, and it will also be, yeah, it will also cost money for people that own the game already. but. It's like that. that's a s smart business decision. There are also loot packs in this game. Sell loot packs for microtransactions for, for God's sake. Do stuff, something like that. Release awesome skins for the loyal people that already bought the game. They get their awesome exclusive skins, but sell more skins for the free to play players as well. So that way they can spend and also have an option to buy the full game uh, when they really like it, but also just can play the game and see if they want it and then choose to buy something. I think that would be super smart because it's like I said a competitive market. You want people playing your game and having the $60 wall there will not help. Let me know what you think. Should Battleborn be free to play or should it at least offer a free to play trial or like an unlimited trial you can just try the game. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more theories on the latest gaming news, E3 2016 predictions and way more. Thanks a lot for watching I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.